couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. So BuzzFeed Unsolved, um, I love watching those guys. They're, <laughs> they're entertaining Shane and Ryan. Um, Mara and Olivia introduced me to those and I have not stopped watching yeah. since. So yes, I know. Yes. Um, so again, though, I didn't realize that this was anything to do with Washington or maybe I had forgotten the fact, but, no. um, when I realized it, I was, I was like, again, Washington. Um, so I'm going to do my best golden girls, Sophia Petrillo imitation here. Okay. <laughs> Just because I felt like it. I'm scared. <laughs> so, are we ready? Okay, let me flag this for <laughs> editing. <laughs> okay, picture it. Portland, Oregon, the day before Thanksgiving, 1971. Mm-hmm. It was a cold and rainy night. Mm-hmm. People were hustling, trying to travel to be home with their families. Mm-hmm. One middle-aged man gets on a flight going to Seattle. He gets seated orders a drink and the plane is barely in the air when he hands the stewardess a note stating he had a bomb and he hijacks the plane. Okay. This man is known as Dan Cooper. He demands $200,000 in money for parachutes and supplies from the FBI. Okay. Uh, this, the plane circles SeaTac for two hours and he lets most everyone off the plane. Like all the passengers, he keeps some crew members. They refuel he tells the crew to set a course for Mexico City, and they take off. So here's where it gets weird. The weirdest part is that somewhere between Washington and Nevada, he just up and jumps out of the plane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's never been found to this day. They may. They, I think they may have found him. They had a few suspects, but I the link I'm going to link to is actually from the FBI government website, mm-hmm. and they have not found him i thought someone found some remains I, I didn't they know found a bag with about fifty six hundred dollars that was like the bag was decaying and the serial numbers matched yeah nothing else has ever come of it so um he basically they've had some deathbed confessions yeah. that may or may not you know work in the scenario they have no idea I wonder how old he would be now. Um, so he was 40 in 1971. He, they, they say middle-aged, around 40. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to do that math? No. <laughs> so he'd be, what? It's, uh, it's like 50 years ago? Yeah. No, 30. Well, about 40 years 20, ago. 50 years ago. Math is not my strong suit. Well, it's not mine either, but, you know, from 1971 to 2001, that's 30 years. And we're now in 2020, so that's another 19 years. So it's 49 years. Sure. So, yeah. So he'd be, you know, in his 90s. 80s to 90s, if they really, like, highballed his age. Yeah, it'd be 89. 89 yeah. or 90. Yeah. So um, um, chances are he's he's probably still not with us. But uh, it's it's just crazy to me. The, the case file is like enormous and they've had like over a thousand suspects. And like I said, people confessed on their deathbeds. And I'm sure they've had like numerous tips. Yeah. Well, they did have a really good tip and it it was like presumed that this one guy did it. Um, But he somehow the timeline didn't match up. So he could not have been responsible. Hmm. Yeah. So because it it basically fit this guy's M.O. He had done that previously. But uh, yeah. Good old SeaTac Airport. Yay. (laughs) All right. So... Last story. We're going to try to end this on a funny note. And, you know, obviously not easy to do with all of this crazy shit that happens up here. But how about a story of a felonous pig? (laughs) Your look. (laughs) Okay. 
So cute, lightheaded or lighthearted story. Um, in 2018, Tukwila police were asking help from the community. They posted on their Twitter with pictures of Monty the pig. Um, they were trying to capture him. Mm-hmm. And going and reading these reports, it's like he's the most dangerous criminal of all. That's <laughs> right. Just, I think I saw him on the FBI's 10. <laughs> yes. Was he number 11? Yes. <laughs> Um, the police department, you know, was trying to catch him. Um, the story on a local media outlet called the patch, uh, it's, it's really short and sweet, but it was funny to read. They claimed that Monty was quote unquote, ungodly fast. <laughs> and at one point he had outsmitted the cops when they thought they had him cornered. He went, you know, they went right. He went left and there he went. <laughs> Right. Um, I have the Benny Hill music playing in my head. <laughs> Basically, um, this pig had Tuck Willa in a in a complete uproar for like a week while police were searching high and low for Monty. And people would spot him. They couldn't get him. He's just huge ass pig. Like, what did he do? Like, <laughs> he no. was he was damaging property. He was like, yeah. Um. So, you know, they tried to get cooperation from his owner, <laughs> didn't really get too far with him. Yeah. And then uh, in the meanwhile, while they're searching, they found a peacock, like the, just roaming. They found multiple missing dogs and cats, birds, um, all sorts of other animals mm-hmm. while they were out searching. They solved all these other <laughs> missing animal crimes in the space of a week. Um, they finally caught Monty. On January 5th of 2018, um, his reign of crime ended and he was returned safe and sound to his owner. Sweet. Yes. So definitely, um, I mean, there again, you could hear this anywhere. A a pig running amok on a town could be anywhere, but it kills me that it's in Tukwila of all places. Yeah. How did he cross the freeway? Like there's... What did he do? I'm sure he could. He could have gone around or under or something. I yeah, know. I don't know. It it made me laugh though. I had to chuckle because pictures of this pig. There's like video of him like running past people. <laughs> Jesus, it's just hilarious. Um, really funny story that you know, again, could happen anywhere, but it didn't. It happened here. Come on, people, <laughs> use your big human brain. Outsmart the pig. Just put food somewhere. Yeah, but that was the problem. Like, it kept rummaging, like, in garbage. I don't know. At one point, I think it got into a restaurant. <laughs> it was causing causing havoc. I don't know. Pigs are, they'll eat anything. Oh, yeah. So I don't know that they're necessarily, necessarily like, harmless. But it's a fucking pig. <laughs> yeah, they do a lot of damage wherever they are, really. Yeah. So I'm sure the owner, you know, got got fined it was it was not a waste of time but you know the, the man hours trying to find monty the pig i don't know I don't, yeah <laughs> like why would you spend that many man hours i'm sure well, just let let uh, father time take its course i guess i don't know i'm sure they could have called the first lady and just had her make some cupcakes with roofies well, she wasn't making roofies at that time. Oh. This is 2018. Well, see. she did that this year. Your year off. Sorry. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of other people though that could have made some roofie cupcakes. Yeah. 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 And there we go. We're going to end it there, short and sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Um, I'll link some photos and articles on the website to everything mentioned in the stories and let us know what you think. Um, I think this might be something that I try to integrate regularly into the podcast, but it, it probably won't be like a Washington specific. Uh-huh. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to name this uh, WTF Wednesdays. Okay. So what the fuck Wednesdays? So um, any weird news, you know, let us know if you if you find some somewhere. It doesn't have to be Washington. Um, hit us up on the website or DM us on any of the social media that we have. I know um, your cousin's husband sends me links all the time of weird shit. Usually it's in Florida. 
um, which yeah. is not a There's surprise. A boundless supply there. Yeah. Um, so I, I may include some of those next time, but, uh, normal episode eight will be out next Friday. So in June and this one, we are going back to Bellevue. Ooh. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with Bellevue? Um, so we're almost at the end of our season. Really? Yeah. This is episode eight. So there's eight, nine and 10 and we're going out with a bang. I got something pretty, uh, twisted and sick for episode 10. Okay. (laughs) I, sometimes I think you just don't, you like, you put up with me. No. Hmm. Do you even really want to be here? Yeah. If that Roadcaster Pro wasn't in front of you, would you even be, sit here and do this with me? Yes. <laughs> it's just the lore, the lore of the equipment. Yes. All right. Well, that's how you got me on here. You could handle the tech stuff. I, I mean, I knew that you would do it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all we got for today. So enjoy, enjoy your day, and take care of each other. Be kind. And stay out of the damn woods. Stay out of the woods. <laughs> nothing good. Nothing good ever happens. No. All right, guys. Take care.